really? Oh 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 really? Welcome to another episode of You Had to Be There podcast, where we talk about movies, books, games, Steelers, Pittsburgh, and that one lady, your mama. <laughs> I'm your boy Bob. Your boy Adam Easy, man. What's going on? Hey, man. Look, we just want to apologize to everybody for not being up on the task and up on the job. We had a lot of things going on. We had work. We lost people. You know what I mean? So, by the way, it was my birthday that just passed. I am now 21. You about like 2018. <laughs> <laughs> I do want to wish everybody, I hope y'all had a happy Thanksgiving. You know what I mean? And uh, thank you to the new subscriber. Please like, share, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to get all of our future content. Because we will be up on our job. We definitely apologize. So, Bob! What it is, man? No longer in Canada. <laughs> no longer in Canada. Mm. We no longer in Canada. Uh. Rid of that. <laughs> <laughs> you know what, I'm saying? what? The boycott work. I can, I can now eat Canadian bacon. <laughs> I can now eat maple syrup. I can now watch Toronto Raptors. I mean, they suck. But I can now... I can now Come back to all things Canada because mm. the Canada that was messing with me in my life is now out of here. I don't, and I don't celebrate cats losing their jobs. I ain't me neither. Me but neither. when you ain't doing your job, you got to go. Look, man, if you had a gas station and you a clerk, you can't be eating hot dogs and stuff off of the little roller. No, you can't. You getting fired. You getting, I mean. The reason why you're going to get fired is because you're going to miss a lot of time at the front register because it's going to go to the bathroom. You're going to be dropping that because that's, you know what I mean? Like, okay, it may be good like for a time, but then it's going to, it's coming out fast. What are them little wraps, them little burrito wraps? Oh, uh, no, bro. No, yeah, no, yeah, no, that, no parts of that. Hey, yo, that's food truck food. Hey, that, hey yo, that, them's called poop sheets. That's human. You, got, you, <laughs> you said that's human meat. You the Jeffrey yo, Dahmer yo. special. <laughs> Matt's gone. Kenny's gone. Right? right Kenny's dead. Matt is gone. We're going to run now. Nah. 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 Oh, hey. <laughs> Had a parade. And they, I mean, they said it was Thanksgiving parade, but it was it was the Matt Canada, Canada parade. Gone parade. Yeah. So this is what it is. So now we we got the thing that we identified as the problem gone. I think we should have been gone off season, but you know. Uh, they gave him another chance. I get it. The first time he came on, he had an old Ben. And we was like, <laughs> Ben can't move to do his offense. Right. All the motion. We had high hopes for Canada. Yeah. And then he had Mitch. Money-making Mitch. Who? Mitch Trubisky. Trubisky. Oh, and Lord. this dude was toe up from the flow up. Kenny came in, what, week four or five, whatever. And then, you know, he had to progress to rookie quarterback. And towards the end of last season, we had, once again, High hopes. So with this season, from game one, we're like, this dude has to go. And then we start realizing, wait a minute, is it all Canada? We start questioning, is it all Canada? Mm. Or is it Canada and Kenny? Or is it Kenny not doing the plays? That's so my question is, do you think the offense got Canada fired? I think the wide receivers and I, I, the wide receivers and the running backs. I think so, mm. personally. Okay, because first of all, George Pickens was mad. He was mad in the beginning. Okay. You know why? Why? Because he was putting pasteurized cheese and macaroni and cheese. <laughs> it was Canadian. Yo. Yeah. 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 Like. So George Pickens was a little frustrated and started deleting all of the Steeler stuff off of the. And the craziest part is this is second year. Well, you know what though? When I heard that, I went to Instagram. It was still on it. I swear, that same day I went. I seen it. I'm like, wait a minute. Like that same day I heard it, I went to Instagram. It was still on there. So I don't know if that was like maybe like a a, a, a hoax or somebody or maybe he. Just did something or like took a few things off, but I still saw I still saw a lot of stiller things. You know on. what that was? He did take it down for oh. a brief period. Baby texted him, "I'm sorry." 
That's what it is. You know how it is when you go on somebody's Facebook or Instagram, they take the pictures down when they arguing. You feel what I'm saying? <laughs> then it's like, baby, I'm sorry. <laughs> so you know what? I'll put up one picture. I'll put back hey. one picture. Hey, look, I started, I'm like, black and gold, black and gold, black. Right. I'm like, what? I don't want to know what the hubbub was about. I don't know who saw it first or who, you know what I'm saying? Or how how many things got taken off, but that's a lot of pictures and posts to, to remove. Right. But but for real, for real, he was frustrated at the fact that, first of all, Deontay Johnson was out for a couple weeks. He wasn't really getting the ball. I mean, he had two 100-yard games, mm -hmm. but... It wasn't really no productivity in it. He'll get 100 yards here, 100 yards here, but then he'll go to 28. Then he'll get 15. Then he even went through a whole uh, a whole game without even getting a rep. So, but so, all right, is that's not on George? No, right? No. Because we talk about yards now. You gotta correlate that with receptions and and. And uh, being thrown, to being targeted. Right. There was games that he weren't, he wasn't targeted as much. And you know, even last year, leading up to the beginning of this year, before Deontay got injured, Deontay was always more targeted. So my, right. my fear when he came back was uh, seeing the production of GP. Are they still going to target him? And it came back as an absolute no. Yeah. They yeah, like, they, they start throwing the ball. Hey yo, um. We had what a, a minute something to go, and we they we threw the ball three times to Deontay. Yeah, yeah. And and guess who? And guess who was back? Fryermuth. Guess who's having a monster game? Jalen. And, and you still got GP. Right. Who, who's a walking first down? And you throw the ball three times to somebody who dropped the touchdown pass previously. Mm -hmm. That's where it comes. That's where I'm like, all right, did the offense not? being able to execute you know what i think it is fire. you know you know mm -hmm. what i think it is okay so break it all down right they send his shots they've been sending shots gp was sending shots the uh uh deontay johnson even said in an interview and, and he uh it was like a sub tweet it was a subliminal he said y'all know what the problem is i mean they said it at the first penguins game <laughs> But Fire you know, Canada! <laughs> Fire <laughs> Canada! Those brothers, hey, they meant every. I think they had like a a pierogi that was like like Matt Canada, but he lost the pierogi race in the uh, Pirates game. Like like no, nah, he got to go. Like he couldn't even he couldn't even run good. He fell. He he's a weirdo. So you know what I'm saying. And I think Pittsburgh Steelers are known to be Canada racist. Maple Tron. <laughs> yeah. Chitlin G. <laughs> Chase Claypool. <laughs> yeah. Then, then, then we got rid of canned beans. Dang. He's not even like the Dang. regular beans. He's, he's the canned, canned beans. beans. Yeah. It's, oh, shoot. God, 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 God. Yeah. Now, we can't even go to the, to the veggie store <laughs> and get him. I could go right in the John Eagle. It's crazy. Right in the aisle. Give me Matt Canada. <laughs> So I think a lot of a lot of this came from the frustration from the wide receivers. But then you see one player that did not hide it at all. Don't say his name. Najee Harris. There it is. There it is. He <clears throat> was now. Now let let's get. I had an argument on live. All right, on live on Facebook and. They said that Jalen Warren is running better than Najee right now, which I agree with, right? The the way he's hitting them holes, pause, pause, pause. <laughs> he's hitting up. <laughs> he is running very, very good. But what this is what people don't understand and miss. Najee Harris is about 6'2", 253. Right. And I don't care how hard he runs or what he don't run. If he gets 23 carries a game, 
it is going to wear you down. It's going to wear any D line down. That's if he runs aggressively. If he's running like he has scat back, like he's Darren Sproles, then then guess what? Hitting him is not going to be a problem because he's not running behind his pads or using that weight. No, that's a fact. But when he does run downhill, he's, he's scary. He's scary. Yo, I, I can't name a player that tackled him open field, not going behind, not passing behind, not yeah. but him right running. Yeah. You know what I mean? I don't. I can't see anybody. He dribbled Miles Garrett like he was a team of Elijah one. Like he just dribbled. <laughs> he just said, "Boop, sit down. You ain't getting up." Oh, Najee has a mean stiff arm. He has a mean stiff arm. Yes, he does. But. It would be even crazier if he used his shoulder pads on on, on oncoming tacklers. Right. Put, put the shoulder pad down and yo, yo, his 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 legs are massive, man. Like dude squat forever. Yeah, yeah. So this is my thing. Najee had his frustrations to say. I seen it in his face. You know what I'm saying? Like it, it was pure frustration. It like, was like pure yeah, frustration. And he even said. Yes, we're six and four, mm -hmm. but we're playing like without going to say, you know, what I mean, how long can we keep this up? Because don't get me wrong. And I like that we made that move for Canada. I, I love that. Like, mm -hmm. you know, what I mean, the fact that we even did a whole episode talking about fire Matt Canada, mm -hmm. you know, what I mean, now. This is where I do have to be critical on. Little Mittens. Who's Mittens? Who's Little Mittens? Little Mittens. Oh. Okay. Hamburger yeah. Helper Hands. Yeah, yeah. I have to be critical now. <laughs> oh, they got them little, <laughs> the Mickey Mouse hands. <laughs> <laughs> and I have to be critical because Kenny hasn't been playing so good. No, he hasn't. Not at all. So... We keep saying this Matt Canada thing, Matt Canada thing. But, and I do understand people got to take in consideration. Can he do get hit a lot? And he has to throw out of a hit or a sack a lot. Who does that sound like? Well, it sounds like Ben. Yeah. But at the, yeah. Sa but at the same time, Ben had better pocket presence. Yes, he So did. what Kenny does not do, he does not step up in the pocket. So sometimes he drops back into... The, uh, into the, the danger, sack, and he'll roll out into a sack instead of if he's like the job of the tackles is to put people past him, and he just keep dropping back, dropping back. No, you see him coming past, step up, take a step up, wait a half a second, plant your feet. You know what I'm saying? Get your target. Okay, but so he, he's rushing. So you basically saying if Kenny was in the bed with Monica and Monique. You gonna roll over to Monique? I mean, if I'm done with Monica. <laughs> and Dream Girls, I like Effie over Dina. You know what I'm saying? Effie over you know what I'm saying? I, I like. Hey, I, are you protesting that? Slim. Are you protesting? I'm that? saying. I'm saying this live right now, man. <laughs> and Dream Girls, Dina was. Slim. I don't care, Beyonce. See Dina, not <laughs> Dina. Okay, <laughs> Dina and Effie. And they ain't Jennifer and Beyonce. No, it's Dina and Effie. Listen, ain't no sense on both of us being cold that night. <laughs> November, December, January, you got to get you a big chick and hibernate. Come on, man. I get it. Hey, hey look, man, you need, you, some, know. you need somebody with the boob kind of hang a little bit. So the real thing is, but like two other people. <laughs> <laughs> and look, no slight to the slim chicks. I love y'all. It's shape, y'all eat right. Yeah. But hey, look. I do like a hefty girl. We get negative degrees sometimes in Pittsburgh, okay? We negative. And you and the skinny girl's bones can't keep me warm. No, uh -uh, man. <laughs> we could start a fire. Man, right, right. You can rub right. your legs together and start a fire. Get a whole grease fire going. <laughs> I mean, he needs to just play. Then <laughs> he needs to play better, man. He needs better pocket presence. Yeah. He need uh, for for real for real. I seen the way he was throwing the bar a uh, ball at uh the combine, yeah. And he can launch. Oh, he got an arm. He has the arm talent. That's no question. Like he was 
like he was throwing balls like pause. I, I mean, let, me, let me relax. Not on duty. I'm gonna relax. Let me relax. Not on duty. <laughs> he was throwing passes to uh, Jordan Addison like consistently. Yes, but that like not over not in the middle, but down the sidelines. Sidelines and on and on um like deep posts or something. Deep like that. posts. Yeah. Yep. So yep. he, we know he had the arm talent. I, I don't think that was a question. Because mm-hmm. remember, they were talking about he got the nine and a half inch fingers, hands, whatever. Like, whatever. What, what, what does that matter? Y'all treating hand sides like it's. <laughs> Women used to ask you, what size shoe you wear? Yeah. Right. Yeah. N- now people are going to ask you, what's your hand size? Hey, nine and a half inches, baby. <laughs> For, like now, I am losing confidence in Kenny right now, mm. and I know I, I I keep the perspective that this is his second year. It's not even a full year, right? Right, because he this is his first just like year and full half. year, right? right. So I, I'm keeping that perspective, but now I'm looking at what could a ceiling be, right? Like where can he get to? It took Josh Allen. A couple years, yeah. To, it, to it took Joey, uh, Joe Burrow uh, a year and a. a year. Well, he was he was hurt his first year. He was hurt. Man, think Joe Burrow, uh, Joe Burrow, nothing. He was hurt his first year. Second year, they go to got during AFC Championship. Third year, they go to Super Bowl. Like yo, Joey B, it ain't taking nothing. Oh, ain't no. that, man, now we look. We can compare Kenny and Joe Burrow coming out of college to the pros because you know out of nowhere, yeah. right? I, but in the pros, nah, I can't do it. And no comparison. I was joking weeks ago when I said that uh trade for Justin Fields. Now I'm getting serious about that. Ooh. I'm yo, Justin Fields had 300 yard games. Justin Fields know how to use his uh, use his feet. Okay, okay. So I'm actually getting serious about this now. I'm like, man, oh, man. Kenny. Now we gotta have this argument. Well, go on. Dang, dang. <laughs> okay, so make your argument. You said Justin Fields. Okay. Yeah. So <laughs> Ducky. Yep, yep, yep. Um, <laughs> Kenny's best, Kenny's best, right? People like Ducky from Late Before Time. <laughs> no, so why you gotta see why you gotta talk about the homie like that? You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to get him over here on this side. I try to get Jay Jay Fields in the black and gold, but yeah, we clown the homie. He don't want to come no more. Like it's like he got like too much. All his features are in the middle of his face. You know what I'm saying? And he got like too much peripheral. Like his cheeks is just like this. You know what I mean? Look you know like, how your mom used to make the sandwich and then squish it in the bag? Yeah. <laughs> Orangutan face mug. God damn. Justin Fields' best game mm-hmm. versus Kenny Pickett's best game. I don't know the numbers per se, mm-hmm. but I do know Justin Fields had a three touchdown pass game. I do know Justin Fields put up 300 yards, and one of those games was on the Steelers. So, mm-hmm. you know, I, I, but I never seen Kenny have a game was like he won us that game. Pickett. Flush, pressure, throws on the right. Oh, no, uh, no, not front to back. Not front to back. Not 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 from start to like you know, start to the completion of the game. Okay. No. Now uh, uh he's had a lot of heart attack drives, right? He, he in fourth quarter he got better numbers than Pat Mahomes and all that stuff right there, right? Mm-hmm. But that wears on a team. That's what Najee was talking about. Yeah, was, yeah. We yeah. can't keep doing this, man. It, we can't keep Coming down to the end of the game and and having to. And the bad thing about it is he's right because the Steelers arguably are better than a lot of teams that you see out there really scoring. In the fourth quarter. I'm talking about talent-wise. Oh, talent-wise. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They got the, you know what I mean? Wide receiving uh, core. Uh, yeah, skilled players. Uh, other than the O-line. The skilled players, they can compare it almost everybody. I feel where you're coming from, okay? But this is my take on it, okay? Justin Fields did not start going crazy until he got DJ Moore. Justin Fields had a 300-yard game his rookie season against the Steelers. And who was his wide receivers? I don't even know. It was Mooney. It was Mooney. Alan, Ro- Moore. I, I, Alan Robinson. Was he here that year? Yes, he was. Okay, and I, and and he's he and he was good, but he's not like no, he wasn't no world beater at the time. He was good though. He's really good. 
He was really, really good then. Mm-hmm. He was really good. He mm-hmm. wasn't no world beater, you know what I'm saying? But I wouldn't put him no top five receiver or nothing like that. He was probably like upper, but still, upper, he's produ- like, upper his- middle of the pack. I'm like maybe like maybe possibly like 13, 14, maybe, or something like that. He was really, really good. Um and and then you had Mooney and uh, Chicago defense. They they done got rid of everybody, right? You know what I mean. So they they had a team, and who they had that run? They had, was it Cleo Harbor Montgomery? Montgomery. Montgomery was the running back. Yeah, because he he got traded to the Lions. I yeah, think. yeah, yeah. So he's going crazy for the Lions too. Look, the Lions. What did I say? Yo, what did I say? They, I mean, we oh we already oh you was on them. You you was on them before everybody else. Everybody no. else <laughs> okay, so my slept on team. Uh huh. If you know me, you know what I'm going to say. The Steelers. No. Nah. No? They're not going to be slept on. They're, they're about. That, see, that's why I didn't pick them. That's yeah, they're, they're not going to be slept on because the way that Kenny ended that season, it's. Let's see the Jets or Detroit? Detroit. I think Detroit. Um, They are dynamic. It's almost scary next season. He was he was on them. But they're. And they top in the NFC right now. But, like, not their. Look, not your offense that was it was a defense that was giving me concern because that last year all, their O was crazy yeah it, they're deep now their defense has stepped up they run a game is matching the, the passing mm-hmm. you know what i'm saying jared oh my gosh golf you got man he's, he's been just, playing bad look, and they still winning people forget right jeff fisher you know what i'm saying uh, uh um didn't want him yeah they didn't you know what i'm saying jeff fisher didn't want him so I they, understand that so it, because he wasn't playing good early. So this is we talking uh, about Super Bowl. But this is before. This is contending before. This, Jared Goff. This is before that, right? Because because this is what coaching matters, right? Right. It so this is this is what I'm comparing to Kenny, right? It's right, right here. So Jeff first two years, Jeff Fisher, Jared Goff, first round pick, top 10 pick, whatever it was. Yeah. He wasn't working. Mm-mm. He wasn't working. It mm-hmm. was like, man, this dude ain't right. This ain't it. But so now here, here, here come McVay. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? McVay, yeah. was, McVay was like, all right, I'm going to get what I can from this dude. They go to Super Bowl, they take the L, but they go to Super Bowl. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So now it's like, but then, you know, another year or two later, ah, he ain't working out no more. Sean McVay, he's a, you know, uh, he's a uh, Kyle Shanahan offensive genius type, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Boom, we got to get rid of dude. Give me Matt Stafford. I know Matt Stafford in year 85, but let's get Matt Stafford. And won the Super Bowl. And now, and they <clears throat> took Matt Stafford, and the only way that to me that's worth it, like, hey, look, if Matt Stafford died in the Super Bowl, because Jared Goff took him there. So Matt won. Yeah. Now looking at Jared, like, what you going to do? And Jared, yeah, because and, if you if if you don't win the Super Bowl or at least go, that's right. That makes their situation even better. So it took two years of this first round pick playing garbage, mm-hmm. coaching change. Now Jared Goff, Sean McVay, start looking good. Mm. Mm. So this coaching change for Kenny mm. may help him look good. You know what I'm saying? Probably, probably not right away because they still have. They cannot people. They cannot change the playbook. It's yeah, they can. Set. It's, it's already there. set. The plays that are already there. They you can tweak to run it. it. You could tweak it. They could tweak it, but the the concepts are there and they can call a better game because we know we know it's run run pass run run pass run run pass we right. know what it was with canada so they may be able to call a different game now that's when i'm like all right kenny can you do more can you show me more than what you have shown us can you give me a, a, a justin fields like performance where you we know that you you won the game, you controlled the game, that you were a factor, not just in the fourth quarter in the last five minutes, but from the first, second, third, to the fourth. Okay, so this is my argument, right? Since now, Matt Canada is really getting raped by mermaids. (laughs) This is my argument about a quarterback, right? Mm -hmm. All right. I'd rather have Kenny over Justin Fields right now, and I'm going to tell you why. 300-yard games does not define a winner. Justin Herbert, Mm -hmm. same thing. 300-yard games without a question. Can't win a squat. And then you have, who else? Even even your boy, uh, Russell Wilson. Russie, let Russ cook. For the last two years, he's been throwing like crazy too. Can't win. 
Justin Fields, throwing like crazy, can't win. Mm -hmm. For some reason, mm -hmm. for some strange, weird way, Kenny is winning. Mm -hmm. Barely, mm -hmm. but he's winning. Mm -hmm. It barely doesn't even matter to me in football. When you win, you win. Uh, dumb, what, dumb. What, what did they used to say back in the day? Almost is on, uh, only counts a horseshoe. Using hand grenades. <laughs> okay, so would you, you? So you try and tell me if if you can trade for Justin Herbert, can you pick it? You wouldn't do that. Oh, I'm doing that. <laughs> I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. We'll give you EBT card. <laughs> We'll give you a uh, baloney with the red strips, not the not the one in the little packet. We'll give you the red strip one because those are the best balonies. I'll give you the 10th Street Bridge. Take it. Don't drive over it anyway. Let's go around them up. Hey, do you want the name Akashore? Because I'm hey, sure you we'll, can use we'll, it. We can give you the name. We always say the guy darn that. <laughs> we can give it to you. So, but like, so you 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 have you have a point, right? Because. He's a Kenny's a gamer. We so, can't nobody. Kenny's a gamer. Th th Kenny's that's a gamer. the one thing that nobody can deny. He might be playing sussy right now. He's more suspect than John Leguizamo and Tu Wong Fu. Yeah, that's sussy. Ooh, flimsy. <laughs> hey, yo, he was flimsy in that movie. The, the <laughs> problem is with with Steeler fans, right? We have this. We're spoiled. We are. We are very spoiled when it comes down to having been Big Ben for over 18 years. Very, man. Very. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's just like when we didn't have a good defense, right? Back in, I'd say, 2016 through 2017. It wasn't that good. It was all offense. Was it that bad? Yeah, was it was bad. bad. It was now, bad. I know we were struggling before Minkin. When, 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 when Troy, when, they, when we didn't resign Troy. Right. And we basically forced him, forced him to retire. Um, I mean, all the guys at that point were long in the tooth. Still did a poor job of replacing uh, the aging talent. Right? Yes. We're, we're replacing Lamar. Yes, they did. Matter of fact, after the injury to uh, 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 Shazier. Yeah. It was it was it was downhill. Yeah. Who can replace Ryan Shazier? He was just coming to his own. He was he was probably like the most instinctive and fastest linebacker I've seen for the Steelers. And he just learned how to control that speed. He just learned how to he was about to be a monster. Just like Devin Bush. We thought we he was gonna be crazy. Oh man, his first year, man, he was getting picks, getting fumbles. Like and, yo, he was doing good. He, he was, was doing good. Right place at the right time. He was in tackles for loss. He got that injury. I, I, the injury, it took him a year and a half to come back. And we gave him a lot of people didn't give him enough time to really come back. But when he finally got that official season, got yeah, into his own. Yeah. And we were like, he last year? He he wasn't it. Yeah, he, he was getting moved backwards all the time. So I, that's the, the the defensive decline. Yeah. yeah. It, so so you got to figure from when you have Le'Veon Bell, Antonio Brown, and all. You know what I mean? You have a Martavius Bryant, a super deep threat. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like mm -hmm. unreal deep threat. Yeah. It's like he had um he had Randy Moss talent without the skills. If that, right. make, if that makes any sense. He had the height. He had the speed. You know what I mean? Like, he can you throw him in a nine route, he's gone. You know what I mean? He's a cardboard box with oil on it. <laughs> like, Explain that to the people. <laughs> okay, so a cardboard bo box with oil on it, it looks like it's soggy, but it's not. <laughs> because there was a, you know what I mean? He looks big. He looks, you know what I'm saying? Like, he just looks. Like that 6'4 height, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. He's real fast. He dropped a lot of them passes. He dropped a lot. He he did. He did. You know what I'm saying? Cardboard box with oil on it. Mm. He's eating King Vitamin with OJ. Damn. Yeah. Ew. Like you be saying. Ew. All right. I got this one, one more thing for Kenny, right? Okay. There's two, well, two things I think Kenny needed to do. I already mentioned one was more better pocket presence. Step up in right. the pocket and do not roll into a sack. Correct. And the other thing is adopt something that Ben 
used to do it all the time, but he probably can't because he got the <laughs> hands. The pump fake. <laughs> the pump fake. The pump fake that used to that used to jolt the camera. Yo, but he made the pump fake with two hands, like. <laughs> hey, <yeah. laughs> hey man, hey man, uh, holding the baby bottle. <laughs> oh, that's crazy. Where, where? Pause, my nigga. <laughs> <laughs> easy, easy with that. Yeah, like, man. Like, hey, oh, oh, yeah. Pause. <laughs> whoa, whoa. Why'd you tell me? I said easy. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Please don't attack me. No, no, that was. I might edit that. Yeah. Stewie Newton hands. <laughs> A serious note. I get what you're saying. The but the product the, the productivity means. A lot, even when it comes down to single gameplay. Yep. But also at the same point, this is a team game. This is a team game. Mm -hmm. And Kenny is a gamer. I'd rather I'd rather have a quarterback that can finish the game rather than a quarterback that look good and lose. Now, you put if you put Kenny in the Bears system and you put Oh God. You see what I mean? So they oh. So that I, I think it's a we and we cannot under we cannot undervalue Coach Tomlin. Man, look, this is probably his best coaching year I've seen. Yo, y'all need to stop. Yo, we coaching matters. Coaching matters. So yes. the, so like that, that's gonna be the name of this episode. Coaching, ma coaching, coaching matters. Coaching matters. Cause look, if you take Justin Fields and you put him in a system where they, he does, they don't have to rely heavily on his on his arm. They can be like, you know what? We're still going to have a two back system. Yeah, yeah. We're going to control the clock by running the ball, and then we're going to throw when we need to. And we have a quarterback that can throw it, as not afraid to use your legs. Because Kenny can run, but he he's not running enough in my book. So he's not running enough, and he needs to. He got wheels. Ain't right. He can. He got actually, wheels. He can actually move. A a a dummy. Excuse me, <laughs> Kenny. Hi. Um, they um made a rule after you even before you got into the nfl for what running oh yeah the fake slide <laughs> hey yo that was hey, that was that sick. was mean he used to wait to the pros to do that for real Dang, he wasted on the on the bowl game look they made Wait's yo on. they made a rule for him and he wasn't even in the nfl yet for running, that fake slide was nasty. Though. <laughs> Boy, that was nasty. <laughs> and yo, yeah, that was nasty. But I know them defenders was pissed. Like, oh, I, I didn't hold up. And yeah, boy. Oh, they was pissed. They they could have killed him. You know, and, and you know, in co college, that targeted penalty is is you know making teams win and lose games. Yeah, true. And true. and that and that makes them hold all the way up. Yeah, because so, you know, because you know, at the end of the day. You gotta lay a pillow down for somebody right now to yeah, tackle oh my, them. Oh my! But look, the Steelers don't get the benefit of that doubt. No, we don't. Man, Kenny, Kenny got got crushed. Been been getting murdered. He got straight mauled by a bear. You know what I'm saying? And everybody else, <laughs> like High Smith, uh, uh, who he hit last game. He 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 tackled him. He he fell on the ground first, and they still gonna call. I'm like, it was uh, it was uh, what what the Cleveland quarterback? It was the Cleveland quarterback. Yeah. That yeah, was DTR, a DT, DT, whatever. A DTR, DTP, a, a, B, a BPS, F seven. Yeah, disturbing the peace. Yeah. Hey, he, he made COVID. <laughs> He's a brand of COVID. Yo, you got that DTR? Yeah, I got that DTR. This is what I would say about that Cleveland Browns, the mistake by the lake. You're still the mistake by the lake. I will always be. And you know what I mean? But your defense is awesome. Can't nobody say nothing about it. Your defense won that game. That's just what it is. And it's supposed to. Uh, yeah, defense wins games. They don't just win championships. They win games. So you know what I mean? Because uh, they they shoot. made they made Kenny throw Aaron passes. They they made well they couldn't stop the running game. But I don't. We just didn't give off my next point. They gave the ball to Jalen Warren nine times. This dude almost had two hundred yards on his own. Yeah, 155. Right. So um 
But he had nine carries. I think like Najee had like fifteen or sixteen carries, something like that. And he only I'm, had like forty or fifty. Right. And then and I understand I'm not saying we need to bench Najee because we need the one two punch. We need that we need that ground and pound and we need the jet. We need it's like it's like yeah. Be- Bettis and Willie Parker. We need Oh yeah, need, we need those. You know what I'm saying? You need both of them. Hey yo, that's still in football right B- there. Bam Morris uh, and, and Willie Pegram, you know what I'm saying? Or uh, his name Willie Pegram? And Pegram. I know his name. Last name was Pegram. I, I don't know if his name was Willie. Hey. <laughs> William? William? <laughs> Billy? Call that nigga Shakespeare. That's, that's Billy Pegram. Pe- nah. Not Billy. But, uh, but Pegram. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, no, nah, but you need that one two punch. And a lot of, and a lot of your, your premier, you know what I mean, teams nowadays have that one two punch. Yes. They do. You know what I'm saying? But I'm saying give. I'm saying right now, I think you should call the plays 60-40 to Jalen. I don't want 50-50. You talking about between Najee? Na- okay. Najee, yeah, yeah, between him and Najee. I agree. I agree. I agree. Um, I just don't want him to get hurt because, like I said, like I told somebody on my live again, I have not seen Jalen Warren run first. But, but that's what I'm saying. I don't look. You can because beginning of the game was always like the first series of the game, right? Mm-hmm. They're, they're in their base defense, which is probably uh, four linemen, three linebackers, or three linemen, four linebackers. You know what I mean? And maybe a creeping safety. Right. That's everyone's base defense. No one's starting off in a nickel unless you're spread. You know, you're like you're going like a spread offense. Right. Right. So cool. Okay. Cool. First series, throwing Najee. You know what I'm saying? Especially if you're come playing on running the running the ball, you know, throwing Najee. Um yeah, but yeah. cause I think he wears down uh, he, he wears them he, down, he, man. He, he he does. And that town is we need more explosive plays than we need to wear down. Right. And, uh, that's true. That now now that I agree with. So for it, sure. let's say we, we go up, we come in the third quarter and we're up by ten points. Man, ground and pound. Run Najee to their face over and over and over again. You know what I'm saying? And then, you know, like, do some trickery. Look like a – have a run formation, but pass out the run formation. Have a pass formation, run out the pass formation. Stuff like that. Get them mm. on balance and get the ball some more to Najee. So, but, like, slow the game down. You know what I'm saying? Or so speed the game up. So, what do you think about uh, having two OCs? Well, you we really have one. Because now they have to do the duty – of the OC and the beater positions uh, uh, coach. coach. Yeah, Correct. Faulkner, running back coach, he's the OC that puts that put the uh, the concepts together. Right. That 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 that's going to script those first twenty plays. Of course. That's going to des- and he's probably going to run the ball like running backs coach does. So <laughs> <laughs> he throughout the week, the breaking down film, he's running that right. Right. So during the game. He got he got the whole running game. He got McFarlane, he got Warren, he got Najee right. to make sure everybody's coordinated and also the line. He don't have Benny Snell. You hate that dude. <laughs> and, uh, Benny Snell is working at JC Penny's right now. You still talk about Oh, oh, oh yeah. The Lions released them too. You're working at JC Penny. <laughs> you hate Benny. <laughs> <laughs> I hate him. Yeah. You act like he stole your left sock. Like God dang, man! Like <laughs> I almost hate him more than Andre Rizer. That's a, that's high level hate. That's <laughs> high level hate. Right? <laughs> hey, Rizer, get all the smoke on here, man. Oh, I think there's a board on Mario for your house. <laughs> I, you know what? I think we, like we have a like. There's a we should make a list. We need to make a list. Okay, what's the list? So we got like we got Andre Rajan, Chase Claypool, Mitchell Trubisky, Matt Canada. Who else is on this list of people that we just really don't like? Yes. <laughs> um, what's dude's name? Um, it looked like you could pull his skin off. What's his name? Uh, he looked like Beetlejuice. That Men in Black dude. Like, oh, is this better? Um, <laughs> Yo, uh, Skip Bayless. Uh, oh, Skip. Skip's on it. Yeah, that's oh, what I'm saying. Oh, is it. this better? It looked like you can pull Skip, his skin off. Skip is there. Man, he's, he's, dude. he's infected. <laughs> Resident Evil infected. 
a matter of fact, forget all that. Kenny, <laughs> look, I'm addressing you head on because, you know what I'm saying, I feel like I wanted you in the draft. You know what I'm saying? I didn't. Yeah, he wanted Malik Willis. Yep. Yeah. And if all things would have worked out, all things, like even with Kenny, right? If all things would have worked out the way they planned, Kenny would have sat all last year and started this year. 